Hey everyone, I just thought I'd make this quick video on a problem I've seen on a lot of Subarus over the years and it's to do with this SI drive control unit over here. What happens is a lot of people tend to put drinks or a coffee or something similar over here because the cup holders are right beside this and what happens is if you're not careful and if you do tip it onto this controller here it causes all these buttons to stick. So I'll show you how to clean that in this video today. Just a word of caution, you will see me use soap and a little bit of water when cleaning this out. But do note that I've stripped it completely and I've removed all the electronics and it's only the plastic switch and the moving parts that I'm actually cleaning. So all the electronics were stripped. So just if you are following this video, make sure you do the same and follow it exactly as done. In order to get to the switch, what you have to do is there's two bolts over here at the bottom. So there's those two there. You've got to remove that. There's a clip underneath here. So you'll see that in the video. This will be pulled out. So there's a screw here. And then there's a clip over here. So once you remove that, the center console will pop out. And then you'll have access to the two screws underneath here. So it's a common problem on all these Subarus. People tend to drop their drinks in here because the cup holder just sit just behind this. So as you can see, uh, there's coffee or something that's fallen all over in here. So we've just gone ahead and popped it out from here. It's actually quite a good design by Subaru. Seal this whole thing off. They've thought of it before. So luckily the circuit board's not damaged. So we'll just go ahead and clean the internals of the dial and the, the switches over here. So as you can see we have dissected the whole thing and the drink or whatever it was has just gone everywhere in here. So this is usually the attention of too detailed that we go to in cleaning all the cars. Now that it's clean, we'll just blow it out with compressed air. As you can see, everything works perfectly now. This button doesn't stick anymore where it wasn't working properly. And to adjust the differential, the center differential. And now everything works well. 
without any difficulty. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope this video was of some help to you. If it was, please like and subscribe. See ya.